Hey, what is going on everyone? So today we're going to be taking a look at tvOS 14.5. So Apple recently announced this along with all their other 14.5 and Big Sur releases. So I usually don't do tvOS videos because they're typically minor in scale. They're usually like bug fixes and security updates, you know, things you really can't notice. Or if there is something you can notice, it's just like one or two things. So I don't feel like it's necessary to make a video. However, with 14.5, this is one of the biggest releases of tvOS that I've seen in quite some time. So we have actually quite a few new things here in the latest version of tvOS. So let's go ahead and talk about them. Okay, so when I let the TV come on after the update, there was four things that appeared on the screen. They had a what's new and they showed four things. So I'm gonna talk about those four things first and then we'll go into some other stuff that Apple didn't really uh, show here. Okay, so the first thing is there are new Apple originals. So of course, Apple TV, Apple's been doing uh, their own thing, you know, making shows and different things like that. So there's a new one called the Mosquito Coast. There's also Mythic Quest, which has been uh, redone for a second season, which is right over here. And there's also a new Billie Eilish film uh, somewhere on here. But yeah, they tend to add in, you know, just new shows all the time as they continue to expand their lineup. So some new originals here in TV+. Plus. The next thing here has to do with your home screen. So you actually now have a new option that will free up space on your home screen, kind of like how you can remove the unused apps on your phone or iPad. Well, this is basically what happens here on your TV now. So to activate this, you actually have to go turn it on in the settings. So you go to settings and then you go down here to apps and you can see the new option right here. So it's called offload unused apps and basically it automatically removes the unused apps but still keeps every bit of data and documents so it's still on your home screen technically too so if you try to go into it it will just kind of re-download the app so it's a nice way to kind of save space especially if you have a smaller apple tv like the 32 gigabyte one so a new option there to offload your unused applications now the next thing here we can find in settings is called type to Siri. So basically this is an accessibility thing and you can use the on-screen keyboard, your iPhone, iPad, or a Bluetooth keyboard with Siri. And this is gonna allow you to search for movies, launch apps, and more. So this is available in your accessibility settings. So we can go in there. And if you scroll down here to the bottom, you can see the type to Siri. So if I turn that on and we hold down the Siri button, we now have a keyboard uh, right here, and it accidentally caught my uh, voice a little bit there. But now you can just type out what you wanna tell Siri instead of actually uh, just telling her. So you can still do hold to speak as you can see, but you can now type to her if you want it to. Now the final thing here is the new color balance feature. So. Uh, this is very nice because it's actually, I thought it was going to be exclusive to the new Apple TV that just got announced, but this is actually available on older Apple TV models. So if you have an Apple TV 4K or even HD, uh, you're going to be able to use the new color balance feature. So basically what this does is you can use your iPhone's front facing camera to measure your TV's color balance. So the Apple TV will adjust to produce a more accurate color uh, picture and all that stuff. So this can be found in your settings and then you go to video and audio. And when you do that, you should be able to then scroll down to where it says calibration all the way down here at the bottom. And you can now see the color balance option. But I actually haven't tried this yet. Uh, and your phone needs to have face ID, I believe. So if you have a phone that doesn't, well, this unfortunately isn't going to work. But basically, we're going to hit color balance, and I apologize, by the way, for the glare. This will only be temporary. But anyways, you can see it says Apple TV will measure and adjust your TV's color balance. And for the best results, avoid a bright 
or highly saturated picture modes like Vivid or Sports. So that's talking about your TV uh, settings. And it says you'll need an iPhone with Face ID and iOS 14.5 or later. So it's already recognized it on my phone. You can see right here that it says color balance. You can use this phone to measure your TV's color. So what we'll do is hit continue and it says hold your phone close to the TV. So now we have this crazy looking uh, thing going on. So we need to turn our phone around so the front facing camera points to the TV and you want to get it in the outline that you're seeing. So what we'll do here is simply just kind of do that. And it's gonna go ahead and measure the color balance for us. So you literally, you're just like one inch away uh, from your TV. So there we go, it says color balance complete. And we can now uh, see that, it says it on the phone as well, that it's completed. And we can hit the view results here. And it's gonna show you basically the uh, balanced version that you just did and also the original. So uh, I'm switching back and forth there, as you can see, all the wallpaper just changed, but uh, when you do the balanced one, for me at least, it looks like it's made it quite a bit darker, uh, which I honestly don't know if that is uh, <laughs> the better picture or not. Uh, but yeah, it's really darkened things up uh, when it's balanced. So. Uh, you can choose to use the original or the balanced one. I think we'll just try the uh, one we just did uh, for a little while there. So, yeah, it really kind of made things a little bit uh, darker, more yellowish tint looks like to me. Uh, wow, it kind of looks like night shift or something. I don't know if I really like that. But anyways, uh, if you want to change it at all, you can always uh, just uh, reset it right there. So it says color balance already applied. Uh, you can repeat it, you can view your results, or you can reset it to whatever settings uh, that it was before. But I think we'll just try out the balanced and see what I think about it. Now let's talk about the few things that, well, Apple didn't really uh, announce here. So uh, first off, we have the game controller support. Uh, this has been across the Apple lineup, so everything from... Uh, your iPad to your phone to your Mac and now your TV you can use the latest generation Xbox uh, controllers and also the PS5 uh, controller so uh, if you're gonna be playing some Apple Arcade games well you can now uh, use your favorite new controllers next thing here is to do with the podcast app so podcasts have been uh, tweaked and kind of redesigned a little bit uh, here and there all across the board, of course, again. So there's a whole lot of different looking uh, screens and uh, your charts look different, your browsing and your search function, all that stuff. So the podcast app has kind of been tweaked to be more in line with, well, the other Apple devices. If we head back to our video and audio settings, there's also some new frame rate options. So if you go into format, your TV should be able to figure out which one you need. So this TV is 4K HDR capable, so it's set to that one. But you notice now, instead of 60 hertz, it is 59.94 hertz. And instead of 30 hertz, it's 29.97 hertz. So you can't actually see the 29 unless you go to other formats. And then you can scroll down and uh, see those uh, 4K and 1080p options. So now have different uh, frame rate options here for you. Also in the video and audio options, you now have the ability to change your default audio output to other wireless speakers. So if you scroll down here to where it says audio, you can see that default output and it says TV speakers. Well, now you can go to other wireless speakers and you can choose whichever one you want to. So you can now change that default audio output right there. They've also added the new app tracking features to tvOS. So obviously the big deal with 14.5 is you can now tell apps not to track you. And that's the same way here on your Apple TV. So in your general settings, you want to go down to privacy and then you want to go to location services right below there. You'll see the new tracking. So here's tracking You can go in there 
and you can allow app stats to track and then you could also manage it all right here. Now again, I don't know why mine is still grayed out. I don't understand that. Apple released a thing saying, you know, there was three different reasons why it could be blurred out. Well, I don't have any of those reasons. So I, I don't know why mine is not available, but that's still how uh, mine is. But yeah, the new app tracking is here on your TV now as well. And finally, just a couple of other minor things here. So if you're in Australia, Ireland, or New Zealand, you now have the ability to use Siri. Also, the uh, new Apple TV that was just announced comes with that all new Siri remote. Well, Apple has added the new Siri remote uh, support to all Apple TV. So if I wanted to, I could go out and buy the Siri remote, the new one by itself. I believe it's like $59. Uh, which is kind of high, but whatever. Uh, and then you'll be able to pair it and use it with the Apple TV you currently have. So maybe you really like that new Siri remote, you can't stand the current remote that we have. Well, you can go out, buy that, and pair it with your current Apple TV. So that's nice. And the final thing here is some security-related items. <laughs> security items for tvOS. These are all the things that Apple fixed. So quite a few uh here that's really a lot for tvos but but yeah guys that's that's tvos 14.5 several new things changes pretty nice to see them here of course on the apple tv several things just to be you know in line with the other software releases but that's okay but yeah guys what do you think about all the new changes here especially that color balance feature do you think it's a gimmick or do you think it actually improves the way your tv looks let me know in the comments down below but anyways guys that's all i got for you today thank you for watching as always supporting the channel and i will catch you all in the next video